Hi, I'm Becky. This teacher guide is about the Mindset Learn series of lessons called Reading Newspapers. In this guide, we tell you what the series of lessons is about and how it links to the curriculum. We also discuss ideas for using the lessons with your learners. You may want to make notes, so have a paper and pencil ready. This series aims to introduce learners to the various components of newspapers so that they will be able to read newspapers more effectively. There are eight lessons. One, introduction to reading newspapers. Two, reading news articles. Three, reading feature articles. Four, reading reviews. Five, reading opinions and editorials. 6. Letters to the newspapers 7. Reading the visual message 8. The newspaper industry These lessons will help your learners to understand what goes into creating a newspaper and may even inspire learners to pursue journalism as a career. The lessons in this series all address Learning Outcome 2 reading and viewing, and will assist learners in achieving a range of assessment standards within this outcome, including being able to explore and explain key features of texts and how they contribute to meaning, explain the meaning of a wide range of written, visual, audio and audiovisual texts, demonstrate various reading and viewing strategies for comprehension and appreciation, the learning outcome and assessment standards for each lesson are stated at the beginning of each video lesson in the series. In addition, lesson outcomes linked to these are also given in each lesson. In tests and exams, learners are often given text from the newspapers to read and answer questions on. And for writing assignments, learners are also often required to write their own reviews letters to the editor, or news articles. In this series of lessons, we introduce learners to the types of texts that can be found in newspapers, and we discuss the features of these. This will help learners to read the various newspaper texts more effectively, and it will also help learners to be able to create their own newspaper texts. We also interview a range of people who work for the Sunday Times so that learners can hear from the professionals how newspapers are put together and what goes into writing each type of article. This series will help learners to see that the skills they are learning in the lessons are used in the real world, whether to create newspapers or to read them with understanding. If possible, you will find it useful to watch the videos by yourself before you show them to your learners. This will enable you to make notes of places to stop the video and ask questions or have a discussion. It will also allow you to see when and how you could best incorporate the video lessons into your learning program. You could also think of activities you could do with your learners before or after watching the videos. To get learners interested in these lessons and to keep them involved, you'll find it useful to get them to do the tasks and activities presented in the lesson. These tasks are linked to the learning outcomes given in the lessons and to at least one assessment standard in the curriculum policy. Completing the task will give both you and your learners evidence of how well they've achieved the lesson outcomes. The task can also be used as a part of a learner's record of progress towards assessment standards for each grade. Every so often, during the lessons, we have included a pause icon marked by this image. The pause indicates a good place to stop the video and get your learners to complete a quick activity or have a discussion about something. Obviously, you don't have to stop the lesson at every pause, but should you choose to use them, you will find that they help to get learners involved and keep them paying attention. Now let's have a more detailed look at the lessons in the series and how you can use them in your classroom. In our introduction to reading newspapers, we differentiate between objective and subjective writing, 
and we discuss different sections of the newspaper. You may want to ask learners to bring newspapers to class so that you will be able to discuss the different sections of the newspaper. Keep these papers handy as you will also be able to refer to them in other lessons in the series. In the next four lessons in the series, we focus on different types of texts that are found in the newspapers, including news articles, feature articles, reviews, opinion pieces, and editorials. In these lessons, we discuss features of these articles and we speak to journalists, writers, and editors about how these articles are written. As examples, we consider articles taken from the Sunday Times. However, to extend these lessons, it would be worthwhile to get learners to find other examples in recent newspapers and to discuss whether they fulfill the criteria discussed in our lessons. You may even encourage learners, either individually or in groups, to create their own mini newspaper. That includes examples of the various articles we have discussed. In our lesson on letters to the newspapers, we speak to the people at the Sunday Times who are responsible for selecting which letters are published. Through our discussions, we develop a list of criteria for a letter to be considered for publication. And then we look at an example of a letter that was published. As an extension to this lesson, you may want to get your learners to write their own letters to the press. It would be worth sending the best examples to your community paper, and perhaps some of the letters that your learners have written will get published. In our lesson on reading the visual message, we consider a range of visual images that appear in the newspaper, including cartoons and photographs. We interview the pictures editor, who gives us some background information about how pictures are chosen. And we look at some examples of photographs that have appeared in the paper. We also look at some political cartoons and discuss how these are examples of satire. As an extension to this lesson, you may want to ask learners to find additional examples of photographs and cartoons that have appeared in the newspaper and get them to comment on the possible reasons why they were chosen and the messages that they send. We hope that you will enjoy using these lessons to introduce your learners to reading newspapers. If you would like more information about using these lessons or lesson notes for each lesson, please refer to our website www.mindset.co.za. From me, Becky, till next time, goodbye.